Hi viewers, welcome back to Ultimate Tamra. In this video, I am gonna explain about the achievements and history of CMC Velour. So don't skip the video, watch it fully. Let's get started. CMC Velour is the crown jewel of Indian healthcare. The 120 years old institution is ranked among the world's top 100 medical schools. What started as a single room dispensary a century ago, today CMC is one of the life saving institute. It was started by Dr. Ida Sophia Scudder, an American at Velour in 1900 years. Dr. Ida was born at Dindivanam, a small village in Tamil Nadu in the year 1870. Her parents were medical missionaries from America. One night when Ida was alone in her house, she was woken up by three men who wanted her to come and help. Their wives deliver their babies but refuses to take her dad who was a doctor and he was a man. The next day, she heard that all three women lost their lives. It was that day Ida decided to become a doctor. She went to America to finish her medical graduation. She returned to India immediately after her graduation. Upon her return, she opened a small single bed dispensary at Velour in 1900. In 1902, she built the Mary Tabor Skewell Memorial Hospital for women with 40 beds. In 1903, she started training women as women compounders. In 1906, she started a program called Roadside Dispensaries. She took a bullock cart and converted it into a dispensary, then started visiting to the rural villages. In 2009, she started training for nurses. In 1928, Union Mission Medical School for Women was opened to train women as physicians. When the government passed an order that medicine should be taught only by university in 1938. Dr. Ida upgraded the institute as Christian Medical College and affiliated it to the University of Madras which started offering MBBS degrees. In 1945, a laboratory technician courses were started. In 1946, India's first nursing college was started in CMC. First batch of men were admitted in the year of 1947. Postgraduate courses were started in 1950, followed by PG courses in nursing in the year 1969. The CMC has been a pioneer in many medical achievements in India. The world's first reconstructive surgery for leprosy affected patients was conducted by Dr. Paul Wilson Brandt was performed at CMC. India's first physical rehabilitation center was established by Dr. Mary Vargis was opened at CMC Velour. South Asia's first neurological department was opened in CMC Velour. India's first middle hair microsurgery was performed at CMC. India's first successful open heart surgery was done at CMC. India's first kidney dialysis treatment was done at CMC. India's first nephrology department was opened at CMC. India's first successful kidney transplant was done at CMC. CMC Velour played a very important role in eradicating polio. Dr. Jonas Salk, who invented the inactivated polio vaccine, visited CMC on the request of Dr. Jacob John, a man who played an important role in India's Pulse Polio program. Velour was the first district in India to be declared polio free. CMC Velour service to the rural India stands unmatched. CMC Velour has one of the greatest chain of community health centers, which grow from Dr. Ida's roadside dispensaries. CMC offers free and affordable treatment to the people from across the globe. Legends from Mahatma Gandhi to Abdul Kalam have visited CMC. From leprosy to the corona pandemic, CMC Velour has been a heaven for millions. Over 3,000 frontline workers from doctors to nurses to technicians walk out of CMC every year. The students of CMC are exposed to treating the rural communities from the day one, inculcating the idea of service to poor at every step. After over a century of long service, CMC Velour still stands tall serving mankind against all the woods. So that's all about the CMC Velour's achievements and its history. If you want more useful contents like this, Please subscribe to our channels and click the bell icon and select the all option. Thanks for watching. See you next time.